As some education stakeholders have called for the repeal of the delocalization policies, saying the unrest that is being witnessed in, in, in schools in various parts of the country are as a result of the delocalization policy um, uh, that is currently being carried out by the Teachers Service Commission. I want us to now go through some of the issues that came up in the delocalization policy and why it is becoming a problem for some of the education stakeholders. As they stated, there has been an outcry over the in there was rather an outcry over the inadequate utilization of teachers and after President Uhuru Kenyatta directed um, a strict uh uh, stricter relocation or reallocation and movement of uh, staff across various regions in the country. And uh, this, of course, happened at the beginning of the year. Education stakeholders then called for fair distribution of teachers across schools, leading to the delocalization uh, policy uh, from, some of, uh, from the calls from some of the education stakeholders. Now, the Teacher Service Commission transferred teachers or transfers, rather, teachers who have been in one station for more than nine Nine years and county directors of education submitted uh, the data for all school heads um, after a memo or a circulars uh, from the teacher service commission to do so about 500 principals and head teachers have been transferred so far and most of them have faced resistance in the parts of the country or the schools that they had been transferred to under uh, the delocalization policy transfers were in line with the provisions of the code of regulations for the teachers and the collective bargaining agreements that they signed together with the teachers unions and this is according to the teachers service commission there are 23,000 public primary school heads in the country this is just for the data and putting context into this particular policy and what we are witnessing in the country that many are blaming on this very policy. Uh, the policy to get teachers posted outside their home counties, school heads suspected of misusing institution resources to be were to be investigated under this particular policy. But of course, this led to the NAT Secretary General Wilson Sosion calling for a repeal of the policy on delocalization of teachers because of the unrest that has been witnessed and the resistance that has been witnessed in various parts of the country in schools in various parts of the country because of this policy.